Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today you can see I'm at Spirit again, but I am in Oceanside, California. So for this video, I decided to do a voiceover and try it out with my new iPhone, so um, see how it works. So to be honest, I haven't been to many Spirits this year. I've only been to the Woodland Hills location where um, I've been working at last year, and I'm all the way here in San Diego. I was visiting family, and I decided why not stop by the spirit that's nearby their house, so here I am. So obviously all the spirits around um, pretty much have the same setups and displays. And a couple of the animatronic setups weren't working properly. Uh, well, I thought this one wasn't working, <laughs> but it turns out it was. But yeah, um, this is a pretty nice location and a really nice area, so I always love going to the spirit with my aunts. I don't know, I just feel like it's just such a nicer area over here in uh, Oceanside. So this year, turns out I'm not working at any Spirit Halloween this year, unfortunately. I actually applied to all the locations nearby, well, in Los Angeles, and um, none of them really got back to me. I mean, I had an interview at Woodland Hills, and they did call me, and um, I don't know, it just didn't really seem that like interested in hiring people for some reason. And even my first year managers um, never even came out to me either, even though I've been calling and you know trying to visit the place um, every few days or so. I was planning to work at Northridge, California's location, and turns out it's not going to open for a while. And uh, next thing you know, they open like October 1st, and it's kind of late into the um, season, you know. And I wasn't even sure they were open, like maybe like the end of September. Even though I kept trying to like contact the manager and like, you know, trying to see the place was open. They turned out opening really late, you know, so um, it's not really worth working for Spirit. It's only gonna be a couple of weeks and then you pretty much just leave. So even if they call me like around now, it just wouldn't really make sense to work for the Spirit for two weeks. If you already have another job, which at the moment I don't. And honestly, I was really like tr looking forward to working a Spirit this year. It was just, you know, kind of disappointing that I wasn't able to do it this year. And, you know, my family seems to be a little upset. And it turns out I'm not going to be working for Spirit, like, not even the next year for years to come. So I think I'm all done working for Spirit, unfortunately. So for now, I'm just going to be working, you know, normally looking for other jobs that's all year. Spear is actually a really easy job, especially for someone who's new to working, never been, never had a job before. Um, you know, you got experience and everything on cashier, helping people out, and you know, meeting new people. So it's a really good first job in my opinion. So, <laughs> but if you're interested in working for Spirit, I definitely try um, applying really, really early, like maybe late July or August. Even though maybe there's no stores around yet, you know, just to get a spot. And maybe you'll get a call back for an interview. You could definitely check out my video on YouTube. I have like a little first job tip video. You could definitely check it out. Uh, it's a couple years old, but I definitely give a lot of tips. Well, yeah, I was really upset and just really sad that I wasn't able to do Spirit this year. It was gonna be my third year and I was having some really high hopes, but it is what it is. You know, we all move on. You just have to find a job that suits you. One that will last instead of just lasting a couple of weeks. So. Yeah, that's that, unfortunately. If you made it to the end, well, thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is the news for 2024 so far. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, say something in the comments. But I hope you guys have a good October 2024.